All right, Virgos, welcome back. I'm here today, guys, to do you guys' this April um, 2021 reading, okay? So if you are new to the channel, welcome. We're happy to have you here with us. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos, all right? So let's talk to Virgos. Let's see the messages we have for the month of April, okay? So give me, this is going to be, guys, this is a general reading, Okay, it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does happen to resonate all the better, be sure to leave me a comment below as well as like and share the video with your family and your friends. All right, so you never know who may need the video. All right, so let's talk Virgos. Let's see what messages we got for the Virgo. All right, we're going to stop right here. We got the Empress, all right? The Empress and the Nine of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Hmm, the Devil. Five of Swords. Wow, okay, well, what's going on? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy as well. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy as well. Three of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy as well. So there's some shocking news that may be getting ready to come out. Could be about someone's um, job or business. Um, there could be a little bit of uh, hating going on, a little bit of spite, a little bit of uh, somebody bringing some negative vibes. Um, someone looks like they are trying to block those vibes with the empress here some of y'all are just trying to grow okay some of y'all are growing some of y'all are expanding a lot of you guys are you know lingering in your empress energy or emperor energy okay this could also indicate um new beginnings as well as a pregnancy okay so someone could be that could be the shocking news that someone is pregnant okay so let's see what we got here this the Empress is also could be mother energy as well. All right, so we got the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, the King of Cups, Death, Five of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Okay. Some of you are ready to take a big step. Some of you are ready, are planning uh, some type of commitment with the Two of Wands here and the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, definitely Pisces with the Moon here as well. Especially here with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you're thinking about long term. Some of y'all are thinking about long-term. Like, you're thinking about long-term goals. Why is the Hierophant here? Yes, the justice. Okay, so I'm getting some of y'all are uh, getting ready to... Some of y'all are dealing with some type of pa paperwork. I'm seeing that as well. Yeah, I'm hearing like some type of paperwork. It could be a, a marriage even, like being legally married, okay? I'm getting a husband here with this King of Cups energy. Why is the King of Cups here? Nine of Wands. Somebody here is kind of like uh, masking their feelings. We got the lovers, okay? Somebody here could be avoiding, um, could have previously been avoiding this decision putting it off, okay, putting off a decision, what's the nine of wands here, the ten of swords, Okay, so some of y'all have, you know, have finally 
uh, come to a realization that maybe you are blocking yourself or someone here is blocking or is kind of like in the way. I feel like you guys are getting ready to make some type of move. You're planning. You're planning something here. But maybe some of y'all aren't, aren't telling people about it. We got the death card and the page of wands. Why is the death card here? The empress. She's back here. <laughs> Why is the empress here? Tell me more about the empress. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Three of cups. Yeah, see, somebody's going to tell somebody first. Okay, so this could be a mother. Um, I'm getting like a celebration or somebody's not, maybe somebody's feeling like someone's not going to be happy or someone's not going to accept something here, accept your plans or what, how you want it to be. This could be a mother. This could be a baby mother. Now with this three of cups and the empress here, I do want to see what this is about. Why is the three of cups here? The devil. Capricorn's energy. But this could also talk about someone ending a third party situation finally for good. So there could be an ending here, a final ending to a third party situation. Or the third party doesn't necessarily have to be like a, a sexual partner. It could just be other people intervening. Especially here with this five of wands back here. Yeah, it's like finally... Uh, it looks like you're getting some type of victory. You're doing very well financially. I feel like some of y'all are coming out of a five of pentacles energy where, you know, it could have been finances. It could have been some of you have literally been left out in the cold um, or rejected. I feel like there's a new beginning for you. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So there's, I'm getting that there's an air sign here, air energy. Somebody, um, what is the Queen of Swords here? Chariot. Okay. I'm getting, some of you could be, this is in the, the um, what's crossing you area. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I'm getting someone's coming to visit. I'm getting someone's coming, uh, or you're traveling to someone, or someone is traveling to you. Okay, yeah, I'm getting someone spying, or you're spying on someone. Okay. Yep, the sun. Okay, so... Somebody's coming to visit somebody. I see that as well, too. Or you guys are going to visit somebody. Or somebody is here spying. There's a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Somebody could be literally, like, spying. Yeah, I'm getting, like, you in the past energy. It's like you were trying to get the chance to tell everybody. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Maybe you didn't get a chance to tell this news in the past and now you're planning on telling this news i feel like some of you are taking things to the next level whether it be relationship whether it be work whatever i feel like um things are progressing yeah see some of you are about to move out of town somebody is traveling to see somebody or somebody is moving into a new home okay um why is the four of wands here? Three of wands. Yeah, it's like I can't wait to see. It's, it's For some even, I'm getting like there's a marriage here. I'm getting for some of you, there is a marriage. There is a high level of commit, commitment here. Ooh, the star jumped out. Could be Aquarius. Okay. But you're, you're holding on to hope about a situation. Okay, right now I do see you guys are planning something. Yeah, you're anxious about it. You may be kind of nervous about it, but you're planning something nevertheless. You're planning something. Something is brewing. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, something that you've been working on. 
um, and you're finally ready for some for this fresh new beginning okay because it looks like you have closed out chapters you're closing out chapters that no longer are helping you okay you're you're wanting to be at peace and you're comfortable okay you want comfort you want uh, stability and, and to be comfortable okay I'm getting that there is a decision here to be made possibly in the love department okay somebody may have more than one option here and somebody here needs to make go ahead and make a choice okay and stop running back and forth going back and forth leaving and going and coming and going somebody needs to make a real deal decision to real deal put some effort into this okay how your person is feeling they're over here feeling attacked or threatened here <laughs> with the seven of wands and the queen of cups you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Why is the Seven of Wands here? King of Swords. Somebody feels like somebody's a threat. Okay. Somebody feels like somebody's a threat. And they aren't happy about it. Okay. They aren't happy about it. Somebody. Why does your person over here feel threatened? Somebody feels threatened. Why is the King of Swords here? The Five of Cups. And the seven of wands. Somebody's wondering if, uh, yeah, see, somebody's over here wondering if somebody is playing mind games or is this somebody going to keep, is this a cycle? Is, is this going to, um, your person is over here worried. They're worried that if this is going to be a continuous cycle, um, Somebody's holding on to some pain, possibly from the past. Yeah, I feel like right now you guys are really thinking long term. Like, it's long term. Long term, long longevity. You're thinking of the long haul. I feel like the I feel like some of you guys are going feel like when this news gets out, we got the emperor here. We got the emperor and the empress. Somebody's mother and father could be involved, a baby mother, baby father, um, a husband or a wife. But I'm getting like, once this news comes out, because we got the tower here, okay? We got this tower here. Someone's family could be involved as well, too, with the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a shocking, this is going to be a shocker. Um, I feel like this is going to be really shocking news. I feel like you're possibly going to, it's going to be so surprising that you may have to give some somebody possibly in the family some time. I feel like, why is the emperor here? Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the moon. This is a big secret. This is a big secret and it's getting ready to come out, okay? This is supposed to be kept a secret. So y'all been keeping this on the low for a while. And I feel like now it's getting ready to come out. Then I say this is saying don't say nothing to a source in the Knight of Cups. This is don't ask me no questions. Don't 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 worry about it. You're gonna get whatever I tell you. But I feel like this is supposed to be something that was supposed to be kept a secret with the moon and the ten of wands here. This was a big secret that could possibly come out. Okay, with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about Five of Pentacles and the world. Oh, this is saying these days are over. Okay, this struggle, this all of this, you know, not having or feeling rejected and all that, those days are over. It was temporary. Okay, it was temporary. It was temporary. I feel like, look at this, okay? Also, if somebody was dealing with somebody temporarily or there was just a sexual connection here, I feel like something to that nature is coming to a close, coming to an end. We got the lovers and the two of cups. So somebody is being chosen and somebody is getting the door slammed on them, okay? Somebody's getting the door slammed on them. Then I say somebody's walking away because they're, uh, you know, it's been thought about, it's been, you know, I feel like some of you guys are or could be dealing with someone who may have been juggling, okay? I feel like that's getting ready to come to a halt, okay? Yeah, see, somebody was playing mind games here. The Magician and the Seven of Swords, yeah. 
Somebody's tired of the mind games. Somebody wants something for real. Somebody wants something real. Okay. So some of you could be making this decision. If you're dealing with someone that's like this, like you could be telling them, look, you're going to have to make a final decision. What it's going to be. I need something real. I need a real commitment. If you're not ready for marriage, if you're not ready for something real, then you can go. Okay. So that's going to be the message that I have for my Virgos. If this message resonated with you guys, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share with your family and your friends. If you're interested, guys, in booking a personal, all of that information is below. And don't forget, guys, check out my website. That information is in the Dropbox below as well, okay? Ciao for now.